At 635, seven problem solvers is working to give you a voice, getting solutions to your consumer problems. Anyone trying to get home repairs done right now or renovations on their home is facing high costs and long waits. Lumber is up 200% since the pandemic began. The cost of adding a new room, expanding a closet, installing cabinets, all up more than 30% since 2020. But one West Seneca woman paid thousands of dollars in June to get a roof repaired. Nine months later, the work still isn't done. So seven problem solver Michael Schwartz is taking a look into what happened here. The contract was uh, signed on June 28th. It was for six to eight weeks to be finished. And he said the job would take uh, three, possibly four days of work. So if you do the math, then this story should be about how Katie Crowley's roof was completed sometime in August. But that's not the case. Their first day of working was November 30th. And when workers finally did show, Crowley says it was for a few hours, once or twice a week. She says they didn't even have proper materials some days to finish the job. This has been one of the most frustrating situations of my life. Crowley showed me these conversations with the company's owner from December, asking when the job would be done. He replied back saying his workers were trying to get to her and he was experiencing health issues, which he said delayed the process. He looks at that as me annoying him and I look at that as a homeowner trying to find out when the contractor I've paid is going to actually come to do the job. Standing metal on the roof. Crowley paid a good portion of the bill that was thousands of dollars. The contractor told her she could keep the final payment and left. Now she's still looking for someone to clean up this mess. And I would urge anyone who is hiring a contractor to do your research first. Don't sign. Melanie McGovern agrees. She's with the Better Business Bureau, which on Monday released the riskiest scams of 2021. Number four was home improvement because we did see an uptick in people going door to door. McGovern says one of the best ways to find a good contractor is at the Buffalo Home Show, conveniently happening again this weekend right inside here at the convention center. You'll find many businesses accredited with the BBB. So here's the bottom line when finding that right person for the job. Number one, three estimates. Make sure you're shopping around before you commit to one company. Number two, don't sign the contract right away. Whether you're here at the home show or after you get your first estimate, go home and do your research. Crowley told me she felt pressure to sign with the roofing company the first day that she got the estimate because she was getting $1,000 off the bill if she signed that day. Turns out she paid a price for quality. And number three, have it in writing. A verbal promise is as good as nothing at all. For Seven Problem Solvers, Michael Schwartz, Buffalo. And some really good points there, Michael. Now, at one point, Crowley said the contractor even stopped responding to her. So it was Michael who was relaying these messages back and forth between the two of them. If you want him to look further into a consumer issue for you, you can email Michael. His email is sevenproblemsolvers at wkbw.com. That sounds like such a pain for her. Like, I can only imagine. You know, a lot of frustration. I think some good tips from Michael for mm -hmm. if you are planning to hire someone to do work at your home. Especially getting it in writing. Thank you, Michael.